Greetings, history warriors and knowledge seekers. Today, we embark on a pilgrimage to the edge of empires, where legend and reality collide in a symphony of stone and sweat, the Great Wall of China. Forget dusty textbooks and museum dioramas, this is History Unleashed, a journey that will leave you breathless and begging for more. Imagine, if you will, a colossal ribbon of stone snaking across mountains that pierce the heavens, deserts shimmering like molten gold, and grasslands stretching as far as the eye can see. This is no mere tourist trap, my friends, but a testament to human ambition, a symbol etched in stone that screams defiance, China stands here, and it will endure. But who, in the name of the terracotta army, built this behemoth, and why? The answer, like the wall itself, is vast and intricate, woven over 2,000 years of history. It's not a singular marvel, but a tapestry of fortifications, each thread a dynasty, each stitch a battle cry. Our story begins in the 7th century BC, when warring states, each vying for dominance, clawed at each other like hungry tigers. To protect their lands, they built their own walls, individual puzzle pieces scattered across the landscape. Think of them as the early prototypes, the experimental scribbles before the masterpiece. Then, enter Qin Shi Huang, China's first emperor, in 221 BC. This power-hungry ruler wasn't just content with uniting China, he wanted to create an empire that would defy time itself. So, with the vision of a strategist and the ruthlessness of a storm, he connected these existing walls, forging a unified defensive system against the nomadic Xiongnu, fearsome horsemen who descended from the north like wolves upon a flock. Picture epic clashes along this stone dragon's back, arrows whistling through the air, swords clashing in a dance of steel and fury. But the Great Wall's story doesn't end with Qin Shi Huang's reign. Each dynasty added their own chapter to this saga. The Han Dynasty, known for their military prowess, beefed up the wall with watchtowers that stood tall like vigilant giants, FNG Yutai, signal fires that blazed warnings faster than any pony express rider. Imagine a network of flames stretching across the land, carrying messages swifter than the wind, a communication system that would make even modern technology blush. Then came the Ming Dynasty, facing the formidable Mongols, who were like human battering rams against the wall. The Ming, determined to protect their empire, further strengthened the wall, making it the iconic structure we know today. Think of it as the ultimate upgrade, the final boss level of wall building, with watchtowers standing guard like watchful eagles, crenellations sharp enough to pierce the Mongol armor, and gates that could withstand the charge of a thousand horses. Now, some history buffs might scoff, walls can't always stop invaders. And they'd be right. The Great Wall wasn't an impenetrable barrier, no more than a suit of armor can guarantee invincibility. Invaders breached it, found ways around it, or even used it as a guide. But its purpose went far beyond just physical defense. It was a symbol of unity, a declaration of power that resonated like a thunderclap, and a message to the world, mess with China, and you'll face the dragon. It was a beacon of hope for the people within its embrace, a reminder that even amidst the chaos of war, there was strength and resilience. So, the next time you see a picture of the Great Wall, remember, it's not just stones stacked high. It's a whisper of empire's past, a testament to the unwavering spirit of the Chinese people, and a reminder that even the most ambitious projects are built on the backs of ordinary people driven by extraordinary dreams. And hey, if your thirst for history isn't quenched, smash that like button, subscribe for epic journeys through time, and let me know in the comments what other historical landmarks you'd like to explore. Until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring, and keep history alive.